Good morning, ESM. I'm Emily. And I'm Isabel. Today is the 34th National Women in Sports Day. So we thought that we would discuss some of the greatest women's sports achievements after news and announcements. Due to excessive illnesses, the Holy Cross School in DeWitt told News Channel 9 that they will be closed for the rest of the week. Colds, flu, and flu-like illnesses are being blamed for the 50% absentee count on Tuesday. The closing will allow for the cleaning of the building and isolate the students from each other along with the staff. The Speaker of the House ripped up the State of the Union speech last night during the conclusion of the speech. As most of the lawmakers stood in applause for the President, Pelosi stood up and ripped the copy of Trump's speech and tore it in half. Many viewers noticed the tension between the President and the Speaker. It started when Trump dissed Pelosi's handshake and Pelosi was seen not paying attention to the President as he spoke. Today is the day that the Senate will vote on the impeachment for the President. In good news, Florida firefighters Dennis Noble, Joe Clark, and Duane Norman are being hailed for going above and beyond the call of duty to help a family whose minivan ran out of gas while driving to the hospital. They pushed the minivan a quarter of a mile to the nearest gas station and paid for the gas and tire. Since one of the family members was experiencing a medical emergency, the paramedics treated them on site before transporting them to a hospital. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Voting to decide the yearbook will take place through Friday, February 7th. To vote, go to the esmyearbook.org. Click, click on the vote link at the top of the page. Log into the Google form with your school email. The three nominees were chosen by the senior class, but all students grades 9 through 12 can vote. The winner will be released in June at our yearbook assembly when we ha hand out yearbooks. After school in the small gym from 3.20 p.m. to 4.05, Players will be competing in basketball challenges. Challenges will be based on wrestling. Will will base on wrestling events. The current champion will carry out a round of belt. Here's the class code to see the, to see to see rules slash schedule. Y W M R J V two. We're going to have an information section next next Tuesday, two eleven in room G twenty after school to talk the, about the basketball program. Calling all football fans, stop by the library after school today to watch the final four Madden teams play for a div divisional win. Today's winning teams will play in tomorrow's final Super Bowl matchup. These remaining two teams of competition are not to be missed. Are you looking for someone for that special valent Oh, are you looking for something for that special someone this Valentine's Day? The Foreign Language Honor Society is selling flowers in the in the mornings and during lunch. The cost is one dollar each and they will be delivered to, to your valentine. A limited number will be sold so buy early. The ESM Girls Across will hold a fundraiser at Trappers 1 this Saturday, February 8th. This will include all you can eat pizza, wings, salad, and soda all while you watch the SU game against Wake Forest. Tickets are twenty dollars. See any ESM Girls Across player with more information. So the first woman was one of the fastest female athletes alive, Floris Griffith Joyner, or otherwise known as Flojo. Flojo had many ac accomplishments and even broke some world records. In 1988, she set two new records for track and field, the 100 meter and the 200 meter. Flojo is also known for her long, colorful nails. The next female athlete is quite a well-known one, Serena Williams. Serena Williams is a tennis player who has won several Olympic gold medals. Serena was also the first Williams sister to win a Grand Slam singles title even before her older sister Venus. We'll talk more after the weather with Allie. Colder with a few possible lake snow showers and sunshine developing into the afternoon and highs near 30. Tomorrow we'll have snow or a wintry mix in the morning, warming into rain in the afternoon. 
Friday will begin with a rain-snow mix turning to snow by sunrise. Temperatures will start the day near 30 and dropping into the 20s in the afternoon. Saturday will be cold and quiet with highs near 22. Sunday should be with some snow showers and a high near 35. And then Monday we'll have a mix of snow or rain with a high near 37 and clouds. Tuesday will warm up slightly to a high near 40 with clouds. I'm Allie with the weather. Our next athlete is Simone Biles. In 2016, Biles was the first female gymnast to win four gold medals at one Olympic game. She also became the first female gymnast in 25 years to win all five events at the U.S. National Championships. Our last athlete is Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan is on the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. She also plays for Orlando Pride as a forward for both teams. She has achieved many awards throughout her career, including an Olympic gold medal in 2012, and she also won the FIFA Women's World Cup with her team in 2015. In her career, Morgan has scored 44 goals so far. Now on to sports. The girls basketball team lost to JD yesterday 56-24. The boys basketball team also took a tough loss against JD last night. Nietzsche Cook led the team with 21 points. The Houston Rockets have traded Clint Cabela in a four-team trade that included 12 players to the Hawks. The Hawks got their center in Clint Cabela and the Rockets got one of the best defenders in the league, Robert Covington, Jordan Bell, and a second round draft pick. The Boston Red Sox traded away former All-Star Mookie Betts and former CY Young David Price to the Los Angeles Dodgers for Alex Verdugo. This is a blockbuster trade for both teams. Mookie Betts will be teaming up with reigning National League champion or National League MVP Cody Bellinger. Alex Verdugo will look to be the centerpiece for the Red Sox for the future. I'm Lucas Sports. Well, that's all the time we have today. For me, Isabel, and everyone here at the Morning Show, have a great day.